from Psalm 66. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing to the glory of his name. Give him glorious praise. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. Sing praises to your name. Selah. Selah. It is one of my favorite words in Scripture. It's one of my favorite Hebrew words in Scripture because rhymes in Habakkuk, one of the prophets, and the rest are all in the Psalms, like the one I just read. Most likely, it's a musical notation, an instruction to the accompanist, though what that instruction might have been is now lost to us. The Amplified Bible adds the words pause and calmly think about that to each verse where the word silah appears. Let's continue to perform alone. Others think it's a cause to call to praise and rejoice. Say it again. Perhaps the best way to think of centering and focusing. We pause to breathe deeply. To carefully weigh the mean general And as we begin today, our call to worship, please stand for our call to worship. Heart and mind, all our days. Between each response, I will say, Selah, and we will pause to listen and reflect, dwelling in this prayer. Selah. And draw closer to God's will. Faith, we sing. Should your love save this? In me, he's before the Father. May grant that you. are at work within us Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. 
For we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us. of you has a for a friend of mine has arrived and I have nothing to set before him and he answers from within do not bother me the door has already been locked and my oh, he will not get up and give him instead of a fish or if your child asks for an egg will you give him a scorpion if you then are who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will they to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost without him. Amen. Amen. I did took the bread. we are meant to live take bless and break Jesus spent a great deal of his time at table ordinary time ordinary meal each day our daily bread and while it's still not then open the other side with a bit of the fruit of the vine remember that the over and over in those small purpose us to pray like that. It was common for wisdom teachers to teach their disciples patterns of prayer. The Jewish tradition has many formulas and patterns of prayer. Last week we talked about Jesus' baptism. After three decades of ordinary life, of obedience to Mary and Joseph of living in Nazareth, a small town on the edge of an empire. Nobody takes particular note of him. He has himself immersed in this rebirth, and as he emerges from the water, he hears, You are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. And then he is immediately driven by the Spirit into the wilderness. Alone, many cultures have a tradition of a vision quest, of a time of transformation when one is to find one's life purpose. Spirit, he turns. Filled with the full See? No, he's just going through the motions. He's showing me what I'm supposed to do, but he's not living it. And I believe Jesus. Jesus is the pioneer. Crowds to feed, to flood. He becomes inspired, the word heal. is. He 
even if he can this full division and give one because a man has brought his son who is a might call it epilepsy or he followed this Christ generation and he asked the man about the boy and the, the man says I believe help thou my unbelief I don't know about you but boy that resonates with me I believe help thou my He wills the heal. Nine, this kind comes out only through prayer. What I need to do if I am rooted and grounded in prayer. I think I may have used it in worship three times now because I'm just I'm kind of fixated on this third chapter of Ephesians. He is writing to this small church in Ephesus that they would be strengthened in their inner being with power through God's spirit. That God in Christ would dwell in their hearts through faith. They would be rooted and grounded in love. Paul prays that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints, the great cloud of witnesses, all those who have gone before, all of the churches scattered in the cities of the world, that we would have the, comp the power to comprehend the breadth and length and height and depth of the king. This isn't about an intellectual thing I can change. To be Christ-like in the world. And then he prays, Now to him who by the power at work within us is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or even imagine. To him be the glory in the church and Christ Jesus in all generations. For every blessing it, he is breaking it, he is giving it away. Would fill the world. for us to be inspired to be filled with the spirit of God to do things that we think are impossible to dream bigger dreams for us to pray pray in quiet places to pray at regular times our Jewish ancestors pray three times a day I do think we have to be intentional about it when I was not in the church, I was in college, I was an orientation leader and I was helping new students get acclimated at Wichita State. The day he started getting more and more See, we had a schedule. We had bothering him. He was feeling guilty. And part of me goes, you don't need to man was sharing his faith with me. And so I made a spot decision that I will forever be grateful for. I broke our schedule. And I found a place where he could go off by himself. And he took 45 seconds. I mean, it wasn't long, but he went off by himself. Journey back into the church as I became active at university, we would compare notes, talk about our prayer lives, talk about our faith and our differences. We talk 
taught me about the importance of prayer. Every Sunday, we pray the Lord's Prayer. And sometimes I think it becomes rote. We've memorized it. We don't really slow down and think about it. Silah. And over the next few weeks, we're going to look at this prayer and some with people who are of the Holy Spirit that prays through us. We pray our Father. Fifteenth wedding anniversary, because that was the end. At times, and Dad. Lord of hosts, a mighty warrior. He could have used fortress, a place of protection and safety. He could have used fortress. One of the most common images of God in the scriptures is rock, a great stone. He said, Jesus, but what you will. The early church picked that language up. In Galatians, because you are children, God has sent forth and the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, we are heaven. God, when we do what God wills, when we see our neighbors as beloved children of God, and one of the as sacred and holy. Outfit that produced a radio pro- program by Krista Triffitt that does some wonderfully deep dives into philosophy and theology and poetry and art. Jesus describes the kingdom lose what they've hoarded. That is the image of daily bread in the Jewish tradition. In the Christian tradition, we extend that. Jesus feeds the 5,000 and there are leftovers. Those leftovers mean that not everybody's at the table that's supposed to be. That we have been blessed with enough to share. Uh, This week, they're going to take a short break and try and help uh, the weather and the COVID numbers come down a little bit. We're also doing a fundraiser for uh, feeding families on Friday, one of our friendship soup luncheons. It'll be a drive-through served out the front door, and uh, you are encouraged to come by, and I think the suggested donation is $6, and Encourage other folks to come by, and Bonnie wanted to let me know we'll have vegetable soup again, which we haven't had for a while. So uh, share that with your neighbors, and we have a UMW recognition we want to share. United Methodist Women's Group here at the church awards a special mission with the United Methodist Women's National Office for Mission. Pray for situation yesterday. Volcano to put themselves in harm's way to 
protect the safety, the health, and the ground, and filled with your power to transmit this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to reflect on all your blessings and how you are called to share them. Selah. See you.